Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Friday, June 14th, 2024. Now, we have things on the Trump docket, but we've got to begin with Menendez. Why? Well, two things happened. Yesterday, co-defendant Fred Davies didn't show up in court. Um, they had some discussions about various things, and in the afternoon they met again behind closed doors, and then Judge Stein emerged to say that Davies has COVID. Today's trial is canceled, and they'll see about Monday. Monday, they, everyone's supposed to come in, but... Of course, there's really no assurance. So, what did Inner City Press do? Well, we published a book. It's called Gold Bar Bob, Menendez Trial One. Um, it seemed like a propitious time to do it. It has, there's just too much material here. Uh, we'll probably do, I mean, I believe that we surely will do one later in the trial, uh, but there's just too much that's built up so far. Qatar, Egypt, gold bars, um, but also a lot of stuff about local New Jersey politics and some research back into Big Bob's history in Jersey City, William Musto, Omega 7, um, check it out, it's on Amazon. So far it's in um, ebook, paperback, and the audiobook is coming, I believe today, I believe today. Uh, we also noted just now a story on Semaphore, Semaphore, um, saying that immigration advocates are, are really depressed, they really miss Bob Menendez. So does Qatar, so does Egypt, um, so does I guess Fred Davies, you know, hopefully. Get well soon. Get well soon in part so the trial can go on, but also just generally. Um, seemed kind of short, it seemed like a strange way to, 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 to deal with the Menendez issue. He's running his own campaign. That's the one thing that emerged from the article. Hats off to Semaphore for getting that factoid. Okay, the Trump docket is kind of a strange one. We're waiting on pins and needles for the Supreme Court. It's remaining, I think, 26 cases they need to rule on. One is the Trump case, uh, and we're, we're, that's obviously going to have a big impact. Could it be today? We'll see. There was a smaller decision by them on Trump too small. A guy tried to, to trademark it, but a, a labor lawyer named uh, Elster uh, it was turned down. You can't you can't do somebody a living person's name in that way. But there it was. There it was. So because the Menendez trial was canceled, we're going to be able to do more U.S. versus Miles Guo today. Hopefully it'll pick up. It's getting a little slogged down in these financial minutia, and I wonder actually what the jury is going to think of it all. There's also the Felix Sater case, that's a civil case, and there's a murder case that we're covering. Ricardo Ferguson, charged with the murder of a man on Aqueduct Walk in the Bronx back in 2021. Some ID uh, identification issues. So we'll be covering all three of those trials and anything else that moves here in the SDNY. And we'll also be covering the UN even though we can't go inside it. Totally corrupt. They're in fact more purchased by Qatar, I don't know about Egypt, but Qatar I can say on, on good knowledge, including the press corps, um, than anywhere else. But we. Quinn Emanuel, Dwayne Morris, these law firms have written pro bono to Melissa Fleming of the UN, Antonio Guterres' chief censor, and she hasn't even answered. I, I don't know what she's getting paid for, but it's uh, she's not doing her job. But we will not rest. Inner City Press, to be continued. Have a good weekend.